Hello, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 4. Today we are going to fight Kresnek. Power is in everything. My will to protect Yuli gives me strength. Will alone won't suffice to protect her. Even the strongest convictions can sometimes be overcome by power. How can you believe that? You're concerned about her safety. Okay, it's one on one. It's uh me versus him. Let's just get on over here. Yikes! And I want to steal from him. Ooh, level apple. Awesome! And uh, what do you use phantom line? It's pretty much attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, heal. So I want to use the most powerful attack you can have, which is the phantom line. Ooh, I get two attacks in a row. That's really nice. Uh, I can probably, I can probably kill him this turn. Yeah, I don't even have to heal. Ooh. Easy enough. Uh, a resistance impulse? No, it's different. His mind and body are rejecting the arm. He's being consumed by the arm? You're using drugs to... Kresnik, stop it! Let alone Lee! Without them, a Category F like me couldn't even use a prototype arm. I couldn't even obtain the power I need to protect my own sister! Please, come with me, Yuli. I have something I want to give you as well, so please... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't go with you. If you really needed me, I'm sure you would have taken my hand. But instead, you... I can't go with you. I don't want to go with you. <clears throat> oh, this bitch. I finally found you. To think, you'd be hiding in a hole like this. Him again? He just doesn't know when to quit, does he? Then we'll just have to take him down. If we do that, the main pursuit force is sure to catch up with us. My razor-sharp mind tells me that in times like these, discretion is the better part of Valor. Yuli, we have to run! Well... If it isn't Bryonyx Commander Kresnik. We're the special recon team assembled by the Congressional Knights. I'm Corporal Tony, the one in charge of this unit. Ha ha ha! Now that we've gotten this close, there's no need for recon. I'm gonna capture that girl and prove myself once and for all. There's no need for you to trouble yourself with trivial matters like this, sir. Just leave everything to us. Ooh. Oh, thank God, a frickin' save point. It's about damn time. Can we break it? Ugh, of course not. Go ahead and save. Well, now that we've saved, let's head on up the left-hand side of the path. And, uh... Oh, let's check out this statue. Huh. I don't really know what that's for, but we can go on in here. And stump dive this bastard of a switch. Okay. And then we have to go all the way back down to the save statue. And then go up the right path. So, yikes! Good, I made it. Thank God. Okay. And then just all the way up here. So, earlier today, I was letting out the dog, and uh, we have a regular door, and then we have a, um, like a screen door on the outside as well. 
and it's one of those heavy duty kind of security screen doors. And uh, as I was letting out the dog, the screen door shut somehow on the heel on the back of my foot and it sliced my foot open. And it is fucked. It is not a good thing, like at all. I got a vacation coming up. I'm going to the Caribbean soon. I can't be dealing with some gimp ass foot. No, you piece of shit, I hate you! Okay, let's try this again. Jump up here, thank God. And, uh, there should be, yes, treasures! Ooh, four hillberries. That always comes in handy. And some revived fruit. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and commit suicide. Oh. The one time, the one time I actually want to commit suicide, I I get caught in a block. Like, seriously, every other time. <laughs> oh, God almighty. So anyway, you just want to make sure that you're stepping on all these blocks, hitting all these different switches. We've hit the switch um, on the other side. We've hit that switch. Let's go over. And uh, let's see. I did that switch, that switch. And I think I did that switch. Do I need to do that switch too? I kind of think so. There's another one. Then, yikes! Yeah! <laughs> up here in the northwestern corner. So let's just head on over right here. And just keep on heading up here. Hopefully, I don't fall in the lava. My god, it's never ending. Go. Okay, here we're just gonna slide under here. Now, if you want to, you can go up there and grab those vases and then take them to the middle platform of the previous room, turn them into fire vases, and then go back to that weird statue that I told you about in the southwest corner, like that statue, and you can drop the encounters. It is such a fucking pain in the ass. I'm not doing it. 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 I tried so many times. I spent about 20 minutes trying to do it. Could not do it. It pissed me off to no fucking end. Ugh. Oh, good lord almighty. Okay, so... Here... Yeah! <laughs> I was thinking it was gonna go up. Oh my god. Can I go up? Oh, thank god. Okay. Is anything gonna come over here? Or am I just kind of... Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Keep it moving. Keep on moving and grooving. Uh, okay, where are we at now? Just keep on heading over to the left. Let's see. Ooh, we got some pipes over here. Lovely. Can I jump onto them? There we go. And then we gotta jump to the next pipe and then over here. Okay, now we have a wonder pot. <laughs> you see these fireballs here. What you wanna do is you wanna bring your pot over where the fireballs are going, drop it over a fireball. Oh, it didn't work all that well. Kinda kick it around. There we go. Now that it's lit, we want to grab it and be really careful not to get hit by the other fireballs because if you get hit by them, they will knock you back and you'll break your base. So we have the flame pot if you look at the upper uh, tool corner. So now we just got to go all the way back and backtrack back to that area where we saw those, um, what are they called? The, uh, the statues. So here... Yeah, we want to make sure that we can get right across very nicely. Just like that. So you use accelerator, comes in very handy. Perfect. There we go. And just keep on moving. Keep on trucking along. Excellent. Okay, now we're in the area that we need to be in, and there's a statue on the left that's not lit up. So we want to throw our. I wonder if I can just drop it in front of it if that would work. I examine it, drop it. So I have to throw it. So, uh, hold on one second, because I want to do a little save state magic here. Just in case. You never know. So let's throw it. Thank God. Okay. So I just lined myself up right in that window right there, made it nice and easy. Whoa! Did they somehow get ahead of us while we were busy dealing with the switches? Yeah, probably so. So what do we do in situations where your razor-sharp intellect can't help us? Why I let you handle it, of course. <laughs> okay, so we have an incendiary and high grenader. Let's look at what we got here. The dirty tricksters. Uh, nothing really going on there. 
Incendiary. They're the hardest ones, these grenaders. Okay, so it's just a whole bunch of soldiers. Let's use, um... Let's see if I can't get multiple enemies here. I don't think so. So I'll just go ahead and go up to him. Yeah, that's no good. Um... Let's see, I'll... Can I kill anybody? No, not yet. This incendiary guy is a royal pain in the ass, though. I do want to get rid of him. Ooh, that's no good. But you know what? Her material attacks everyone! So a nice good old wind material. Bam! Cut them down to size. Now the thing is, these guys add amnesia to a lot of hexes, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, let's see, I can't even attack anybody, so I will need to run the hex. But I'm not going to be using lucky cards or anything like that because of that. Uh, because of the any status and all that. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Oh, you know what I can do? Let's do this. Let's, um, let's improve with her. And move her over here. Attack them. And attack this one. <laughs> It looks like we'd better not stand around here. Yeah, no experience for those guys, though, because they were in the uh, Amnesia hexes, which really sucks, but eh, what you gonna do? Okay, easy enough. Just head on. Oh! God, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, I hate platforming. Ugh, it's never ending. Fuck! God, this is fucking believable. Thank God, I'm like, I can see the exit and it's just toying with me. Ugh, pissing me off to no end. Yuli, are you worried about Kresnik? I understand how you feel, but right now, I gotta keep pulling you along. Brionic face. With Scythe and Belial both gone, it's gotten so lonely. And Jeremy was taken to Illsvale, so he may never come back. And our master, he, was purged a long time ago. Brionic was once called Lambda's Elite, but now its reputation has been ruined. Now, Brionic only has eight members. Wait, are you sure you're counting correctly? Of course I am. But Brionic's other name is Lambda's Elite, and since Lambda means eleven in some ancient language, the name means Elite Eleven. Really? Belial and the two of us aren't regular members, so we don't count. That leaves... Captain Lambda, the two commanders, Kresnik and Farmel, Advisor Alt, and the remaining lieutenants, Hugo, Balgain, and Anil. Oh, I guess you're right. There are only seven left. So why is there one missing? I wonder if there really is an eleventh member. Was there something like that? The rumor I heard is that the eleventh member is a trump card, unbeknownst to even the others. I wonder if it's true. Huh. So the plot thickens. Well, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 4, we will be headed to... Oh, good lord almighty. Nev de Argento. Yeah. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.